A wounded blonde and a dove are trapped atop a rock while a relentless shark circles below. Suddenly a man emerges, crying for help, but she's powerless as the shark drags him under. In moments, the sea turns soy sauce colored. Minutes earlier, Alice was surfing when a dead whale appeared, signaling danger. She headed back, but a giant wave struck, slamming her and the board underwater. Bruised but okay, she surfaced and reached for her board when the shark attacked, bloodying the water. Alice struggled free and eyed the whale corpse, so she swiftly swam over as the shark gave chase. She barely made it atop the rotting carcass as her bleeding thigh left a trail. Tying board leash as a bandage, she saw two people ashore but her cries went unnoticed as their car left. Now only her on the open sea. Suddenly the corpse shifted to the shark, threatening to dislodge her. Spying a distant buoy, she looked for closer options and found a nearer rock. As the shark charged, she leapt just as it collided with the corpse. Reaching the rock ahead of the shark, she collapsed beside an injured dove. The shark lingered nearby. Fierce pain blacked Alice out until a wave hit her wound, jolting her awake. She dug out an earring and fought the agony to bandage the gash, then wrapped it with her shirt. Now to conserve strength and wait for rescue, night fell fast and temperatures plunged. Shivering, she re-wrapped her clothes but still had to tend the wound, tearing off a sleeve to use as a tourniquet. Spotting her board floating nearby, she guessed the resting shark wouldn't attack. Slipping into the water, the blood trail summoned the shark, forcing her to retreat. Back atop, she saw a man lying on the beach and screamed with her remaining strength until he stirred and waved. Alice mimed a phone call, but he left with her cash instead. Eyeing her board, he disregarded her shark warnings. As expected, he was bitten in two as soon as he grabbed it. Hope vanished again. Next morning, chirping roused Alice the surfers from yesterday, splashing and ignoring her shouts about sharks. They disappeared then surfaced, but as she sighed relief, a shark breached and savaged one. The other swam her way in terror but also vanished mid-root, before clutching the rock, begging for aid. Though she gripped his hand, his weight prevented rescue. Now all hope was lost. The midday sun and headache forced her to shield with the board half. The circling shark waited for shadows when it would renew its stalking. Alice passed time by splinting the dove's wing then eyed the dead man's helmet camera a message in a bottle. Timing the shark's speed, she dove and retrieved the helmet safely at 32 seconds. Then she dove in and retrieved the helmet safely at 32 seconds. Soon the tide would rise, submerging the rock, giving her one minute to reach the distant buoy. She recorded a message and farewell on the camera then tossed it into the sea and freed her companion dove. The surge consumed the rock so she rode a passing jellyfish bloom towards the buoy but the shark gave chase. Weaving through stingers blocked it so she made out a pillar to surface from. Almost there, rotten handles broke her grasp, dropping her back in. She hammered the shark with a handle then swiftly climbed the buoy. Seeing an approaching boat, she smashed the emergency kit for flares but they sank. She retrieved them and finally one launched high enough. But the boat had passed. Again, despair took her. But the boat had passed. Again, despair took her. Elsewhere, a boy found the helmet and raced to rally help after seeing Alice's plea. Blood from her wound brought the shark back to ram the buoy. Furious, she shot it, to no effect. Spying the whale corpse, she ignited its oil with a flare. The flaming shark dove to extinguish itself before attacking again, biting into the buoy's plate until another chain snapped, causing a tilt. As Alice fell in, the shark charged wide mod so she ducked inside the skewed metal frame. Seeing the protruding rebar below, she had a plan. When the shark came at her again, she jumped into the water, unwrapping her tourniquet to tie to the chain. The determined shark finally got its lunch. The boy arrived with his father who resuscitated a washed up Alice. She awoke to see her dove had also made it and finally relaxed, scarred but surfing again a year later out of the question for me. And so ends this cliffhanging tale, until next time.